August 4th, 2023. How's it going, guys? Well, I've got another video for you. And what are we going to talk about? Well, two things. We're going to talk about license plates and having up-to-date current license plates. Having license plates, not no license plates at all, or uh, temp tags that are expired. This is a big issue. You know, I got thinking last night here, you know, when the mayor was talking about, you know, they were talking about the guns, trying to get some more gun control in the sense of about for automatic weapons and stuff like that. And I got thinking, well, you know, you also got to start at the root of the problem, too. A lot of these people not being able to understand who they are, where they're coming from, and if they're wanted by the law. But that doesn't seem like that's being addressed very good. We got massive outer state tags here. And what I mean by that, well, there's ones that are not just visiting here, but there's people that are living here. Now, I'm going to show something real quick. See if I, I don't know, see if you guys can see this here. I'll just see if I can get this in this here. And I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but it says a new residence Titling registration requirements, you have 30 days from the date of becoming a Missouri resident to title your vehicle. Okay. There's a lot of them out there. There's a lot of vehicles here. I know there's people here in my neighborhood. Been sitting here over a year or better. And they still got other tags on. They got ones from Kansas. Shoot, across the, just across an, uh, the street here in my neighborhood, there's ones from, it's got Kansas tags. I know that's been it for two years. Now, okay, you say, well, what, what's this matter? Well, you know, to the 33 or 40,000 people that are paying taxes to Jackson County, it should matter. See, they didn't, people don't look at things until they get hit in the pocketbook. And then they start, you know, what are, what's going on? By then it can be too late. And, uh, I mean, like I say, I got ones across the street from he, me here that's got running tags for a long time from Kansas and then other states itself. I had a vehicle this morning. It was, it was back behind my uh, son as we was going, he was going to work and I was going over by Walmart over there. But, uh, it was from Washington. And there are so many tags here that I've seen this vehicle before. It's a common vehicle in this area, but none of these vehicles, these license plates are being changed. But then that means, what, they're not a resident, but they're living here? So Jackson County is missing out on taxes. The state here is missing out on taxes. It's interesting. I don't know. And then it makes you wonder if all the ones on the or, or the ones that are running Kansas tags here are living here in Missouri. Why would that be? And then Missouri's missing out on a lot of money. Kansas would be the one who was making the money if the tags or license plates were current. I don't know. I know. So also, I was going over across this morning when I went across over by the bridge off Lee Summit Road here off 40 Highway. There had been a crash. A little Latino gal had crashed her car up against the side, took out a whole fence line. I'm going to show that too, guys. I don't know if it was a hit and run or just ran off the road and smashed through there, but I'm going to show that too. So hold on. Okay, guys, and uh, I got the bottom numbers and letters blocked out here, but I got them down. And uh, interesting, Washington tags. And, you know, I walk at the zoo on pretty much almost every day. And I do see occasionally we have people that come in here from other states and stuff, which is not unnatural because people go to other states to go to zoos or they go to like a music park like Worlds of Fun or they go to... The casino, like a Bear Star Casino, you know, or Harrah's or someplace like that. But then there's these other vehicles. 
people that are living here in this area and they're not paying any taxes. Well, I mean, that's not right. Definitely not. And uh, also, you don't know, like I say, if they're a criminal, if they have a warrant out for their arrest. I mean, they're not supposed to be driving these vehicles on the road if they don't have insurance, if they don't have registration on these vehicles. So it just makes you wonder about all that. So hold on. All right, so heading down on Lee Summit Road. There's that vehicle over there, that Washington with the Washington tag on it. But you see, there's been a wreck off to the left side over here. Only one vehicle was there. Now, there was an ambulance there first, and there was like a motorcycle, police motorcycle, two other vehicles, but nothing else. Strange, guys. Now, hold on. Okay, there's a little bit better view of it right there. Let me find my trusty pointer. There's a little Latino gal right there. And I don't know. I know that looked like this side over here, the driver's side looked like it was all wrinkled. You know what's even interesting too is, you know, some of these people were actually taking vehicles, you know, a long time back that, you know, and uh, wrecking them so they could get insurance, so they could get money off of them and stuff. And I'm not saying that's what happened here. I'm just saying that, uh, you know, they were actually even running into one another. The people knew one another. They had run into one another. And then they would collect the insurance off of that. So it makes you wonder about some of this stuff you see, too. Because, I don't know, they looked weird this morning. It didn't, uh, on this one side, it did not look, the car looked fairly new. And the other side where it hit that took out the fence line. I don't know. Hold on. Okay, guys. This is when I was coming back. You see a little bit better angle of this here. Let me bring this on down just for a second. Hold on, guys. Okay, I'm back. And uh, I couldn't tell on this. I was looking at the license plate on this thing. I don't think it was a Missouri tag on it, though. I mean, uh, it didn't look like it. And the lady, she was standing on the other side of this other police officer here. Interesting. But it tore all that chain link fence all the way down across there. You can see how the car looked. I mean, it looks on the back side. It looks, you know, fairly new. Hmm. But this driver's side over here, that's what looked weird to me. I mean, it didn't look like the car spun around and wrapped, you know, hit the fence, bounced off and spun around or something. It didn't look like that. You don't see any marks on the road, say, where, you know, hold on. But what I did notice, I was looking at the road here and the marks. And you see the fence over here is solid. I don't know if this was from the asphalt or if that was from... I don't see any other... Any I don't see any tire marks. I think this is just the road. I don't see anything. I don't think that's a tire mark. It looks just like that's asphalt. Don't see any, like, any way, anything to try to stop the vehicle, though, on there. I don't know. That's just kind of weird, I thought. Because usually if somebody, even if somebody hit, usually people will slam on their brakes and lock the brakes up and stuff. I don't know. Looks like somebody's got some fence repair to do now. <laughs> Hold on, guys. One other little quick note. I was drove on down. I always have to drive over here, right over here by Gorman just to see what's going on sometimes. And it was back over by that Gorman's parking lot, that RV setting over there. And there was a table setting in between this vehicle here and it with a whole bunch of stuff on it. I don't know. Now there's a car over here too. Hmm. 
Hey, you don't think Independence got some squatters, do you? <laughs> oh, just a funny joke, guys. I think of that what I I I seen a real funny sci-fi. It was a horror movie, but it was uh, like I say, it was about three guys that went out to California and they uh, rented this uh, house and it was owned by the devil. It was a comedy. And people kept disappearing in his house because of these demons and stuff. And they kept saying, oh, it's just a couple squatters out there. It's just a couple squatters. And then we've talked about those uh, squatter trucks, too, you know, where they they sit down on the back side of them there. A lot of states have already made it illegal to be doing that stuff because it's caused a lot of wrecks because guys can't see because the vehicle's not level. And also, basically... Uh, I'm looking to say when they go to stop, the vehicle won't stop correctly because the weight the distribution is not correct on the vehicle itself. Stop that vehicle. Plus, the, even the mechanics say it tears up, actually, it tears up the transmissions because the transmissions weren't made. You got an automatic in them, you got an automatic in them, uh, that it tears up the transmissions, even believe it or not. Because the fluid with the, the transmissions weren't made to be set at an angle like that for a whole long length of time. People just don't think, guys. But anyway, hold on. Okay, guys, I'm back. Just a short little video here. And uh, I want to talk about those plates. Like I say, a lot of people come in here getting free rides here on the county, on the states. A lot of money being lost, guys. A lot of money being lost. Didn't they seem like they're going after all the older ones and the elderly and all that out there? You know, these houses that uh, basically all the, on this assessment deal, it seemed like a, when I went out there, not that I'm elderly, but my, uh, I took care of my mother and my dad left me this house. And it just makes me wonder, I get to think if my mother was still alive, what that would have done. I mean, I had, it was like, oh, it was like a 120% increase. And, I, and then I got them to lower down just to 81%. So I'm curious to see how that goes if this thing gets overturned. Now, you have to sign all that stuff. And you know that it's set for another two years and stuff. But, I mean, I would think they'd have to put some kind of provision in there. I mean, if they did that, not everybody else would just be able to get, you know, screwed over like that, huh? That wouldn't be good, would it? Anyway, I don't know. But then we got all these new people in here from all these states that are getting a free ride. Why is that? Not good, guys. Anyway, keep your eyes open and stay safe out there. <laughs>